1959, this man back here, Bill France Sr., who lived here in the Daytona Beach area and had a garage over on Main Street, decided he was going to build a large racetrack. He was involved in NASCAR and decided that this was the location, the Daytona International Speedway. It would be the largest racing and high bank track ever. And in 1988-89, the people from Paramount Studios decided they were going to come here, Jerry Bruckheimer and Don Simpson, decided they were going to bring their filming crew here and film a movie called Days of Thunder. They filmed it here at the Daytona International Speedway. We're right in front of the ticket office right now. The speedway is right behind us. We can't go inside, but we can walk along the outside and just kind of show you some of the stuff. So we'll walk down here and check out some stuff from the track. Some say this man was the greatest NASCAR driver of all time. This is Dale Earnhardt Sr. He lost his life in 2001 in the Daytona 500 on the last lap. Handprints of all the winners from the Daytona 500 sit along here. In 1972, this man, Bill French Jr., took over NASCAR from his father, who had retired. He would lead NASCAR until the year 2000, until Mike Helton took over. It's kind of a gloomy day rain and thunder <laughs> kind of appropriate for days of thunder but this is turn number four this is uh the the main grandstand looking down pit road and off to turn four and turn three this is the old daytona usa building there when the cast from days of thunder showed up Tom Cruise is said to be able to drive pretty well but it was Greg Sachs behind the wheel with a, a couple other NASCAR drivers. Michael Rooker was the rival to Cole Trickle. Michael Rooker, you might know him from The Walking Dead. Let's go look at some other locations for the movie. Welcome to Daytona Beach. Now back in 1989, they did not have this. So they did not have this when Days of Thunder was well, there are actually three locations for the hospitals in the Daytona Beach area. We're at one of them. Okay, when Days of Thunder did the car crash, and the car crash happened, and Cole and Rowdy Burns were shipped or sent to hospitals. They were sent to the Memorial Hospital. Well, that hospital used to sit right here. This hospital is not here. It was the actual Ormond Memorial Hospital. And that place would, been, would have been right here. That would have been the emergency room. The main hospital and the parking lot were over here. The parking lot was there and the main structure was all back here. But the emergency ward was back here and this would have said Memorial Hospital, where the, you would have seen the scene, you would have seen a uh, evac was in front of it, it would have said Memorial Hospital, but it actually was the Orman Memorial Hospital, which has now been torn down, and it was bought by Florida Hospital, and they moved it out to Williamson Boulevard, and now it's an Advent Hospital. But this is actually where the Orman Memorial Hospital was, where they actually filmed the exterior shots for Memorial Hospital. Now they did use two other hospitals. The other two hospitals were 
Halifax Hospital, which still is a trauma unit for Daytona International Speedway, but the main hospital that does sponsor the Daytona, Daytona International Speedway, that's hard to say, uh, Daytona International, International Speedway, <laughs> Uh, is actually the Advent Hospital. They sponsor the track, but the only trauma unit in the area actually is Halifax Hospital. And the third hospital that they did use, we're gonna go there next, and that was used for the interior shots. So we'll go there next. So the Days of Thunder crew used three hospitals. Two were for exterior shots. One was for interior shots, and that would have been this building here. This is the Florida Healthcare facility now, but at one time it was an abandoned hospital here in Holly Hill, Florida. They used the interior of this hospital, that former hospital, shall I say, for like the wheelchair race, the x-rays, the beds, whatever was used as a hospital was used right here. As you can see, this was a pretty large building and this would have been the main entrance of the hospital, which it still is now for Florida Healthcare. So this is where it's at. It's right on Ridgewood Avenue. If you run down Ridgewood Avenue in Holly Hill, across there, there's an attorney's office across the street and some other locations. The Sorrentos, which has been here forever. So if you're riding down, if you want to see this location, if you see the Sorrentos on Ridgewood Avenue, the building is right across the street. So this is where they filmed all the interior shots. I'm not sure exactly where, but in one of these, these buildings or these offices now would have been rooms where they would have had beds and stuff. And I don't know if the beds and the stuff were still in the hospital when they did this stuff, but I, I kind of imagine some of the stuff was still left over because it was recently abandoned when they used it. So this is filming location number two for the hospitals. Let's go to filming location number three. So this is filming location number three, Halifax Hospital. This would have been actually where this big tower here, there used to be a, I believe that's where the parking garage was. And that's where Nicole would have went to her car. Cole would have been on top uh, above her and would sit there and watch her and then go and ask her out. Uh, and that's when their relationship would blossom. That would have been in the parking garage that would have been right around in that area there or may have been right there. It was somewhere back over here. I don't exactly know exactly where it was at, but I believe it was right there where the main tower is now, because that tower has not been here um, that long. I've been here, it's been here probably, probably 15 years or so. And before that, the main hospital would, would have been over here to the, the right here. And that would have been where they would use the hospital uh, I don't even think they used the actual house of this hospital other than the actual parking garage for it. So that's filming location number three for all the hospitals. Let's go look at some of the other locations for Days of Thunder. Well, this is part of where the car chase took place. They would have come around the corner here and gone down this road. You can see this building ahead in the shot as they're bouncing off of each other, going down Seabreeze. Uh, probably coming from the beach because there's a tunnel right there, but I don't think they showed it. I think they, they showed it as they came around the corner, but they would have been down on the beach down there. Uh, and there are many shots of them banging off of each other on the beach. And the uh, Main Street Pier would have been right behind them. One of the locations where they filmed the inside of this building here, they had a meeting with NASCAR when Cole and Rowdy were trying to get reinstated. And they raced over down the beach and all, they were trying to get to this location. This is where Sophie K's, and you can see it where they're parking the car, it's a Sophie K's uh, restaurant or grill, or I think it was a restaurant actually, it was, up, it was up there. And that's where they were actually eating 
and uh, waiting for Cole and Rowdy to meet them at. You can see that uh, overpass, I believe, in part of it as well. So that's where they did that. Now this is uh, under construction after, I think, Hurricane Matthew or Hurricane Irma got into it. And, and uh, you can see the lines going up and, and it's uh, trying to be restored. The wind is whipping over here on Daytona Beach. And uh, so that's where they ended the car chase, is right here. They also used this building for a couple other shots, I believe, where the uh, taxi cab incident happened. You can see this building behind it. So with the production as big as Days of Thunder, they needed a place to store the props and to do special effects. Well, they came here. These warehouses here off of Division Avenue in Ormond Beach, they came here and did the storing of the props in between shots. Also, they did special effects, from what I understand, in here as well. They did the special effects for the car crash that you can see when uh, Cole Trickle ran into Rowdy Burns. They did that at the Flagler Airport. Now, if you watch that shot, you can see a, a tree actually uh, pops up in the background. That was done there. I can't go there because I can't get on the airport you know, naturally. But that's where that was done. But all the props were stored here in Ormond Beach. So when filming was done for Days of Thunder, they came here to the Coliseum to party, celebrate. It had been a long time. Bruckheimer and Simpson did not get along during the movie, and there were countless delays for the movie. So when they finally did, they brought the cars, lined them up along here, Beach Street, and... Uh, they celebrate it. So if you like this video, please give me a subscribe, give me a like, and follow me as I continue my journey on through theme parks, some racetracks, and some other fun stuff. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here at the Attic.